Welcome back to the David Pakman Show. Joining me is Robin Stewart DiMartino, director of City Sprout. We've talked about City Sprout on the show, Robin, and it's great to have you guys uh, on board as sponsors. I've gotten a lot of emails about City Sprout, and I think it's such a cool concept. I figured let's just start at the beginning here. There was probably a, a problem you guys were looking to solve by creating City Sprout. So let's talk about that first. I mean, we've talked so much about the problems that exist within the food system in the United States, everything from, you know, pink slime to the lobby for high fructose corn syrup and everything in between. So let's start with really the problem City Sprout is looking to address. So I think is that there's a lot of people that are looking for a farm to table experience, uh, looking to support um, local farmers, and they're not sure exactly how to go about doing that or there's some sort of prohibitive factor in terms of cost. And what City Sprout is, it is an online marketplace that connects communities of people with a small local farmer. And it gets rid of all of the membership fees, all the prepayments. Um, you don't have to kind of have any long-term commitments. Uh, it just makes everything very easy and accessible. Right. So sometimes I think people who, in theory, would like to support both local businesses by, by buying produce locally um, uh, and are interested in healthy local produce, one of the hesitations they have from taking part in some of the other ways that they can participate in this kind of system is they have to, uh, number one, shell out the, the entire cost of their produce for the next six months at once. And number two, they have to do that sometimes months ahead of actually getting any of that uh, produce. So neither of those is the case with City Sprout, right? That's absolutely correct. In the system that we've come up with, is that we want you to be able to view a share of produce uh, every week and have the option to buy it. If the price looks right, if it looks like delicious food, uh, if all those things add up for you and they make the decision that you would like to buy it, then you should. Um, but we don't want to have you locked in to any kind of long-term deal. Let's talk about this from the farmer's point of view because farming in the U.S. for a long time has been uh, certainly riddled with controversy and varying opinions about really what's best for the local farm, not the huge corporate farm. And uh, talk a little bit about that. I mean, are we really looking here at produce that farmers would be producing in either case, but maybe going to waste? Are the arrangements that you set up allowing for farmers to actually produce additional food? I mean, how does that work? So the system that we've come up with uh, kind of empowers farmers to utilize the crops that they already have at this point because um, a lot of that does go to waste. So they have either their own CSA or they go to farmers markets, they do wholesale, they sell to supermarkets. Um, and this is a really attractive option for farmers because they're paired with a community of people that are engaged and excited about their food. Um, and you know, they also get to set the price of the share. They get to set the number of shares that they have to sell in order to make a delivery. Um, you know, farmers from the reactions that I've gotten in, in my dealings with them are really excited because it allows them to take control of an aspect of their business that they haven't been able to take control of previously. Um, and they're really excited about the prospect of connecting with their customers. And it's a kind of a whole new customer base for them. Oh, and so if people want to uh, get started, right? I mean, if somebody says, that sounds good, I just have no idea if this is happening in my area. I mean, kind of what are the logistics of getting this going wherever you might live? So if you go to www.citysprout.com, um, we have set up a page where you can start a campaign to bring City Sprout to your area. Uh, we don't want to tell you where you need it. We want the people who want it most in their area to be able to have it. So if you can create a campaign to have you know, produce delivered to either a community center or a house of worship and anything in your area, a school, and you get your friends and your neighbors and your family to sign up, we can, we'll work to pair you with a local farmer that fits your needs. Well, I think that's great. So people go to citysprout.com. They basically, they, they can start a campaign. Um, you know, uh, I, one of the big questions I have is, do people end up getting 60 pounds of beet greens or like 15 rutabagas or is this really because you know once my producer signed up for one of these things his whole house his, his spare room was filled with swiss chard for weeks the kid had no idea what to do with it you know 
Yeah, so what we do is we try to have each share of produce be a, you know, a, a large variety and enough for two people for one week. So, you know, this week we're actually, you know, quietly launching in our area. We're having a local farm uh, called Atlas Farms, and they're making a delivery this Friday um, and to our offices. It's 136 West Street in Northampton. And what the share includes, uh, there's kale, there's collard greens, um, there's scallions, there's fresh mint, it's a lot of leafy greens, whatever is in season at that time. I love mint. Uh, um, and it's a, a wide variety of things. That's great. Hey, so the next time we have you on, we'll have to sort out the Whole Foods meat scale, the one to five thing. You know, for years, I thought I was doing the right thing by buying a number two. I thought one was where we wanted to be. My world was flipped upside down the other day. It turns out five is really the best. So now I don't know if I should be feeling guilty about that or not. But that's probably a question for another day, right? We can't tackle that. Exactly. And actually, one of the things we're looking forward to is, is being able to have meat shares available and dairy shares available for our, our um, communities of people that sign up. We don't necessarily just want to pair you with one farmer. We'd like to have a lot of variety and a lot of different options for you. All right, so uh, citysprout.com is the website. Go on there, start a campaign. We've been talking to the director of City Sprout, Robin Stewart DiMartino. Uh, this is great. It's, it's great to have you guys involved with our show, and uh, I know people who hear this are very enthusiastic, so best of luck moving forward. Thank you so much, and we've got a lot of great support from Dave Pack and listeners, and we've had campaigns starting up across the country, and we're really excited. Awesome, great. Thank you so much. Thank you.